Hey there, everybody. Uh, Dave Green, Brown Sky. This is the AFC Northerners. We were the early game today, and uh, so I guess I'm the early video this uh, on today. So uh, let's get right into it. 59 yard field goal in overtime to win it. The guy shanks a freaking extra point off the upright, boots one to the left or whatever it was on a, on a field goal attempt. Maintained his poise and composure, came back and hit a 59 yarder to win this one. I don't know how many overtimes we got to play before we can consistently win these things, but it, it's another loss. And the losses are starting to mount up now, and it, it's it's not players. It, you know, you can say something about Peppers trying to do too much there in overtime with that return, but in reality, we shouldn't have even had to get that far. If this team would know how to score in the first quarter, we wouldn't get that far. This is a complete coaching disaster, and this has been indicative of the last three years. I'm a Hugh Jackson guy. I really like Hugh. Uh, I like how he stands up there on the podium and takes the shots, but eventually enough is enough, and the losing has to stop, and it's a culture thing. And if we're changing the culture of this team, then let's change the culture of the team. I think Hugh's got to go. I'm sorry. That really bothers me, but I think Hugh has to go. Uh... Other than that, Nick Chubb, man, that guy, he looks good, I think, watching him play. Uh, Landry got involved today, which was nice to see. I am not a fucking fan. When you're losing, you don't celebrate making a sack. You don't celebrate uh, making a catch. It, that's really piss poor. I, I get being excited about doing something, but be excited about doing something when you're winning. Not when you're losing, because that just that's shitty. I, it's frustrating. There should be a sense of urgency when you're down, not a sense of oh, let me do a dance or let me celebrate. Like it's a team game, not an individual game. So I wish our players would stop celebrating uh, little things when you're down. Celebrate when you're up and when you're winning. Chubb looked good, as I said. I thought Baker looked really good. Uh, offense seems to rally around him. Penalties offensively killed us. How many did we have on third down that took us out of a position to score or to get a first down? You, that's not good football. That's not fundamental football. And that goes back to how I opened it up today and saying that it's coaching and it's a head coach. Defensively, I don't know why it took to the second half to realize that we needed to play man and not zone. We did make the adjustment at the half, which was good to see, but I think it may have been a little too late. So I think the adjustments need to happen more in-game instead of at the half. Uh, Miles Garrett is Miles Garrett, and, and we all love Miles. So there's that. Kirksey did an amazing job, I thought, playing in the middle of, with Schobert out. I'm just really... That one has me in shock, in all honesty. This, to lose like that on a 59-yard field goal in overtime. Sorry about that airplane. Uh, Max, see, I'm outside, but we actually live underneath uh, the way the planes come into Bob Hope. So, um, but uh, I really don't got much else to say. I, drops, Perriman had a drop, uh, uh, Joku had a shot at one early in the game. Hey, drops really didn't affect us all that much today. It was really the penalties and over 100 yards in them. You just can't have that. That's just not, that's just bullshit football, man. That's not being disciplined. Discipline's a head coaching decision, or not a decision, but uh, a way that the, he, he should be teaching the players to be more disciplined, and I just don't see it haven't seen it over the last couple of weeks from this team and I'm afraid as the losing you know we've lost now a few in a row I really hope that that doesn't kill any psyche that this team does have I, I would be all for a head coaching change at this juncture of the season just to get some new blood in there um it may not be new blood it's a pro probably a promotion for Haley I guess uh, 
I'm not even going to speculate. I'm, I'm just fed up. I, I'm fed up with the fucking losing week after week. It's just, it's bullshit, man. We invest so much damn fucking time on a Sunday morning. You know, wake up at 9.30 to watch these 10 a.m. football games just to sit there and either watch them go to overtime and lose or just watch them lose, period, in four quarters. Fucking fed up. Fucking fed up with the losing. Whatever has to happen to change that, I'm all fucking for it. So if it means Jackson goes, then Jackson goes. If it's Williams, that's got to go. Williams can go. Ailey can go. They all can fucking go as far as I'm damn concerned. Um, just a really disgruntled Browns fan right now. Uh, an in shock Browns fan. Lose on a 59 yard field goal late, fourth quarter, or overtime. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, either which way, Browns fans, uh, as always, it's go Browns. Love my team. I'm a diehard. Can't wait till we get some wins. Uh, until, uh, I'm going to try to put a video out here in a, a day or two, maybe talk a little bit more about this game, whatever. But uh, look forward to seeing... Uh, Jan David Tars video on his Raven Saints game at the end of their game, considering he's asking us for stuff. I would really hope he would put one out. And uh, Mark Herman at the end of today, he should have one out either late tonight or early in the morning. Um, be nice if we can get a video from one of the Steelers guys, but I don't, no fingers crossed on that. They're crossed on that. Uh, New Stripe City, that's Ace Boogie, and Joe Nubo. Um, Ravens guy check those guys out until uh, later on y'all have a great one go Browns great game Tampa you guys deserved it you guys stuck around you fought your asses off and uh, good game good win everybody have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon and uh, go Browns <laughs>